Thanks for joining us for a quick video showing endgame protections against the latest variant of the destructive malware Shamoon, and the recently blogged about malware Stone Drill, which also exhibits destructive behavior. At the start of the new year, the security community began reporting about a new variant of the Shamoon malware, which started appearing around November 2016. Dub Shamoon 2, this malware exhibited many of the same characteristics as before, and then more recently, Kaspersky in early March 2017 reported on another wiper called Stone Drill. The sample exhibited similarities with Shamoon, but utilized more evasion techniques such as memory injection into the victim's web browser. So let's see how Endgame fared against these new families of destructive malware. Starting with Shamoon 2, what happens when the malware first hits disk? Well, as you can see on the Endgame alert page, we already have some detection alerts. As we view these alerts, we have malware detections pertaining to the Shamoon dropper here, as well as the specific command and control module, which resides in System32. In fact, we received file creation and execution alerts. So firstly, we see the command and control module created, and then we see it executed. Just the information an incident handler would need to take action. But what about our hunts? Well, we can create an investigation to deploy our process and persistence hunts to examine further into the Shamoon malicious characteristics. As we view these results, the running process survey triggers our malware score analytic, as well as the malware score analytic within the persistence survey. In fact, as we look further into our own persistence survey, we detected the newly created service pertaining to the Shamoon malware. We also have new analytics like repeat offender which detects analytics that were triggered multiple times. In this case, Shamoon persistence was flagged as malware, it was untrusted, and in some cases running from an uncommon path. And our new first scene analytic shows files which were not present in previous persistence surveys. So we flag Shamoon as a new persistence item as well. Now that we effectively detected Shamoon 2, how did we fare against Stone Drill? Like with Shamoon, we detected Stone Drill malware with our malware score technology. In fact, we were able to detect the dropper and the wiper, and specifically the file creation and execution, just like before. But Stone Drill also tried to evade detection by injecting into memory. Well, we detected that behavior as well with this process injection alert. From this alert, you can see Internet Explorer was injected into and we can take action to suspend the thread. But to make matters worse, Stone Drill also triggered Endgame's new ransomware behavioral prevention. This isn't surprising because like ransomware, when the destructive payload launches, it makes many suspicious file modifications in very quick succession on critical data. The alert provides the offending file, which in this case is Internet Explorer because Stone Drill is injected into the browser, and additionally we provide the impacted files. Like the other detections we have shown, all of these would usually be run by customers in prevention mode to stop the malicious activity at that point, preventing devastating loss. But what if Endgame wasn't deployed at the time of the malware infecting the system and is laying dormant until the time of scheduled destruction? Well, that's why we have some hunts to examine the current state of your environment. First, we see the persistence of Stone Drill as a run key, which was triggered by our malware score analytic. And after running our process hunt again, we can use our fileless attack analytic here to discover any injected code which brings our in-memory protections to the fingertips of the hunter. We can see evidence of the injection into Internet Explorer by the Stone Drill Wiper, but also we can examine further into the infected memory thread. We could suspend the thread or even download the strings from the thread itself. Either way, whether you are hunting with Endgame or using Endgame as your endpoint security product, you will be protected from these destructive malware samples. And that's it. At Endgame, we protect your data from attack. Using a layered approach for defense, the Endgame platform would have prevented these destructive attacks from executing within a customer network. And additionally, as we showed today, even in a post-breached environment, Endgame hunts enable detection with ease even when the malware operated strictly in memory. As these new attacker techniques are revealed, we will continue to prove that the Endgame platform is the only endpoint security product you will ever need. Thanks for watching.